In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 9, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Kansas City Royals vs. St. Louis Cardinals The Kansas City Royals currently hold a record of 49-43 this season, positioning them third in the American League Central Division. They trail the Cleveland Guardians by nine games and are three games behind the Minnesota Twins. Despite a commendable performance against the division-leading Guardians, winning three out of four games, the Royals have hit a rough patch recently, losing their last two series against the Tampa Bay Rays and the Colorado Rockies. Bobby Witt Jr. has been a standout player, leading the team with a .324 batting average and 15 home runs. The Royals' offensive strategy relies heavily on generating extra base hits, minimizing strikeouts, and utilizing their speed. They are ranked second in the league for triples, third in avoiding strikeouts, and seventh in stolen bases. This small ball approach is reminiscent of their strategy during the 2015 World Series run. Although they rank 17th in the MLB for team home runs, they are 12th in runs scored, showcasing their ability to manufacture runs without depending heavily on home runs. On the other side of the state, the St. Louis Cardinals are also having a solid season, with a record of 48-42. They are currently second in the National League Central, 4.5 games behind the Milwaukee Brewers. The Cardinals have been on a hot streak, winning three out of four games against the Washington Nationals and posting a 12-5 record since June 20th. Their success is largely attributed to their strong pitching staff, both in the starting rotation and the bullpen. The Cardinals lead the MLB in saves with 32, with Ryan Helsley securing 29 of those as the first choice closer. The Battle of Missouri is shaping up to be an exciting matchup. Firstly, the Cardinals have been on a hot streak, boasting a 12-5 record since June 20th. In contrast, the Royals have been struggling, losing their last two series against teams that are not performing at elite levels this season. Secondly, the Cardinals' recent success has been bolstered by their pitching staff. Despite some offensive struggles earlier in the season, their starting pitching and bullpen have been reliable. Ryan Helsley, their first choice closer, has been particularly effective, contributing to their league-leading 32 saves. In this game, Andre Palante will take the mound with a solid 4-3 record and a 4-earned run average. Palante ability to keep games close has been crucial, especially when the offense has struggled. Meanwhile, the Royals starter, Michael Wacha, has a 3.91 earned run average, which, while respectable, has not been enough to offset the Royals' lackluster offensive support. If this game is close late, Helsley's performance will be crucial. Additionally, the return of key players like Lars Nubar is a significant boost for St. Louis. Nubar's presence in the lineup adds depth and versatility, especially against right-handed pitching where he excels. His return coincides sides with the resurgence of other key hitters like Nolan Arenado, who appears to be finding his form again. The St. Louis Cardinals are the favored team here, as these two teams are trending in opposite directions. Kansas City held the second spot in the American League Central for much of the season before succumbing to the Twins, who are now three games ahead of them in the standings. Meanwhile, the Cardinals have risen from fifth place in their division to second place, putting themselves in playoff contention. The Cardinals have a winning 24-18 record at home, while the Royals have a losing 18-25 record on the road. St. Louis is starting Palante, who has made a smooth transition to becoming a full-time starter, with the team winning four of his last five starts. Palante has only allowed one total earned run over his last 12 innings, which came off a solo home run. He is expected to limit the Kansas City offense in this matchup and help the Cardinals win the first game of the series at home. Therefore, the St. Louis Cardinals' money line is our full-game side pick. Both teams have shown a tendency towards lower scoring games throughout the season. The Cardinals have an over under record of 40 to 64 to 4, while the Royals stand at 38 to 51 to 3. At home, the Cardinals have gone under in 22 out of 42 games, while the Royals have done so in 25 out of 43 road games. Offensively, neither team excels. The Royals have adopted a small ball approach reminiscent of their 2015 World Series run, focusing on manufacturing runs through speed and situational hitting rather than power. 
power. They rank near the bottom of the league in home runs, indicating a reliance on singles and doubles to produce runs, which generally leads to fewer high-scoring games and has resulted in 51 instances of hitting the under so far. Meanwhile, the Cardinals have no offensive stat in which they excelled during the first half of the season, ranking in the middle or bottom of the pack. The pitching matchup also favors the under. Michael Wacha, starting for the Royals, has a respectable 3.91 earned run average, indicating that he can limit runs effectively. On the other side, the Cardinals' Andre Pallante has a 4 earned run average, which, while not elite, suggests he can keep the game in check, especially against a Royals lineup that struggles to score in bunches. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. Arizona Diamondbacks Two of the playoff teams from 2023 will face off in the desert on Tuesday night. Chase Field will be the battleground as the Atlanta Braves take on the Arizona Diamondbacks for the second game in their four-game series. Both teams have experienced their share of challenges this season, but they appear to be on an upward trajectory at this moment. The pitching matchup features two veteran hurlers, but my preference leans toward the younger standout, Zach Gallen. On the offensive front, the Braves are currently a shadow of their former selves. They are missing Ronald Acuna Jr. for the rest of the year, and Michael Harris too remains sidelined. While Atlanta still boasts a solid core, they lack the firepower of their star players. Facing Gallen with a less than full strength lineup is not ideal. This has been reflected in their recent performance stats, as the Braves rank 25th in both Fangraphs WRC and WOB over the last 14 days. In contrast, the Diamondbacks are second in both categories over the same period. Tuesday's game has the potential to be the highlight of the evening, featuring two exceptional pitchers in Charlie Morton and Zach Gallen. Given the circumstances, I favor the Diamondbacks, who are playing at home and have Gallen, who has been particularly sharp despite pitching only twice since June. Gallen's home performance has been stellar, while Morton has struggled on the road. Additionally, the Diamondbacks have had success against Morton and past encounters. Therefore, the Arizona Diamondbacks' money line is our pick for the full game side. As noted, the Braves have been a bottom-tier offense over the past two weeks. While their lineup still includes some notable names, it's crucial to consider their recent performance rather than their potential or past achievements. This Atlanta lineup is not performing at its peak, and I don't expect them to turn things around against Gallen. The right-hander is consistently dominant at home, with a home earned run average of 1.72 and holding opponents to a .2 202 batting average this year. On the other hand, Charlie Morton should be able to keep his team competitive. The right-hander has respectable numbers against Arizona, limiting their current roster to a slash line of .248, .307, and .410 over 105 at bats. Moreover, Atlanta's bullpen is top tier, ranking second in earned run average and fifth in WHIP hence. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Seattle Mariners vs. San Diego Padres An interleague series out west is set to take place on Tuesday when the Seattle Mariners face off against the San Diego Padres. Both teams had a day of rest on Monday. The Mariners are coming off a series where they lost two out of three games at home against the Toronto Blue Jays, while the Padres also dropped two of three games at home to the Arizona Diamondbacks. This marks the first series of the season between these two teams. The starting pitchers for this game have been performing at very different levels recently. Logan Gilbert of the Mariners boasts a 2-3 record with a 2.67 earned run average and a 0.85 WHIP over 47 innings in his last seven starts. On the other hand, Adam Mazur of the Padres, who has appeared in six MLB games, has a 1-2 record with a 7.52 earned run average and a 1.82 WHIP in 26.1 innings. Both bullpens have been reasonably effective, with the Mariners ranking 12th in the league with a 3.74 reliever earned run average, while the Padres Rays rank 18th with a 4.14 bullpen earned run average. Despite both teams coming off losing series at home, Seattle is likely to have the upper hand early in this matchup due to a significant pitching advantage. Logan Gilbert, Seattle's lone all-star, will start for the Mariners and is expected to be the key difference maker. The Mariners have won four of their last five games with Gilbert on the mound, and he has an impressive 2.91 earned run average for the season. Interestingly, Gilbert has been even more effective on the road, with a 2.75 earned run average in away games. In contrast, the Padres will be starting 
starting Adam Mazur, who is making just his sixth career start and has struggled with a 7.52 earned run average. Mazur's strikeout to walk ratio is also concerning, with only 15 strikeouts compared to 17 walks. For comparison, Gilbert has 108 strikeouts to just 24 walks. Given the Padres' recent offensive struggles, managing only one run in their last game, they are likely to have difficulty scoring against Gilbert. Therefore, the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. The Seattle Mariners have a specific formula for success, relying heavily on their pitching to win low-scoring games. This approach is underscored by the fact that no positional players from their team were selected for the All-Star game. Despite their strong standing in the American League West for much of the season, their team batting average is the lowest in all of baseball, ranking 30th at .217, and they are 27th in runs scored. Fortunately for the Mariners, they have their best pitcher, Logan Gilbert, on the mound with his 2.91 earned run average. The team's overall earned run average is third in the league, with a combined mark of 3.55. Recently, both offenses have struggled to score runs. The Mariners are averaging just three runs over their last six games, while the Padres are slightly better, averaging 4.17 runs in their last six games. Both lineups have also underperformed in July. The Mariners rank 29th with a .614 team OPS, and the Padres are below the league average, sitting at 16th with a .723 team OPS given these factors, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.